Hello everybody, this is Toddy the Body. Welcome to my logistics robot tutorial. Now this thing has caused me some frustration. Um, it's just, there's not very much documentation on it. I could not figure out how to make it work myself. Uh, this hookup method, or the way to do it, um, Tommy K uh, is, uh, was the person that came up with how to do it, or at least discovered how to do it, and uh, shared it with me on the uh, showcase video for this type of robot so let's get flipped around here and we'll go over to this little setup and I will just give you a quick little de quick little demo of how to do it uh, it's not going to be anything too fancy it's just going to be the basic uh, how to because I know myself and some other people I've seen on the forums are wanting to know okay so just in case uh, you don't know how to make a logistics robot, you just throw the, the redstone board inside here. Uh, for my resource pack, this is the board you'll need, so then it'll make that. And then you go into the integration table. I've got a robot, uh, basic robot here that has no programming in it, and this is how you make it. So if you put the board on top, then it makes the logistics robot, and it'll go ahead and cook that up, but you can see that that's what it'll make. Okay. So what do we have here? We don't have anything special. I will just explain what each thing is. All we've got is a power source, and then we've got the power junction, which puts the power into the pipes. So each one has that. Uh, this one here, these are all basic pipes. And then what I have connected to it is a request table. And I was supposed to drop that off, but uh, you can see that there's nothing in here, and that's because it's not connected to anything, actually. So then what we have over here is we have a chest full of oak wood. We have our power stuff, and then we have our basic pipes, and then on the end I just have a provider pipe right here. And all that does is that if it was connected to, say, this uh, setup over here, it would be able to provide the oak wood to the requesting table, and I would see that over on the right side, right in here. Okay, so then this third part over here, and we'll talk about those later. I know that you can see them. Uh, the third part that I have here is just the power, and then the power junction, then basic pipe. And then I have, uh, these are two are the same, so I have a crafting pipe and a crafting table, logistics crafting table. And I have just two different crafts here. I have where you get oak plant oak planks from the oak wood over there and then the oak planks will come across here and then turn it into crafting tables so very basic okay so and plus I can't see that crafting recipe in here because it is also not hooked up if I were to take basic pipe and I were to connect all the way across so let's go ahead and do that just in case you're not too familiar with logistics pipes let's say I had this actually physically touching then I should be able to see the oak wood inside there but we want to learn how to use the logistics robot so that we can do this wirelessly okay so let's set this up what you need and this is what Tommy K found out uh, and thank you again for showing this to me you need one uh, docking station for each robot so we'll put one on actually let's just let's just put a logistics I mean a uh, Docking station on each one. There we go. And then we'll put one robot down because intuitively you would think that you just need one robot and it would skip around to all the different things. So if we go inside here, uh, this wool is showing up because that is what is down there. But for this, you can't see the oak logs. You can't see the, uh, the crafting recipes. So now let's go and put one on this one. Now we'll come back over, take a look inside of our rescue our requesting table and now you can see the two crafting recipes but you're not going to be able to make them because we don't have access to the oak wood all right so it seems as though is what i'm getting to what tommy k found out is that you need a robot an actual robot not just a docking station on each of the uh pieces of your logistics system so if you have logistics your main logistics system over in this area and then you have your um tree farm over in another area and you want to be able to access it wirelessly without having to run cables or use ender chests or anything like that then you have to have a robot over there you have to have a robot over here and then the distance will also talk a little bit like I said I keep referring over there and that's where I was testing distance <clears throat> 
Okay, so now when we look inside here, we see our oak wood up in front of us, and we see our two recipes over on the side. And that is it. Our That's how you use the robot. Basic pipe, docking station, robot on each of your separate pipe networks. Okay, so let's demo it. Let's just get ourselves, uh, let's do five stacks of wood that we want to bring over here. Now it looks as though each robot can carry four stacks of something or, you know, either four different items or four stacks, but he's going to have to come back for that fifth stack and we'll see that happen here. Yep, there it is. There's the last stack and then they'll switch again and come back. Now this is happening slower than say if you were to have a, a physical pipe connecting it, but the, the pro here is that it's wireless. You don't have to have your wires through all of your base, across your base, if you if you like to spread out across land, um, if these call if these cause frame problems for you, you don't have to have a whole bunch of pipes now. You can have like I could probably cut all of this out and put the docking station right on top of this right here. Actually, let's do that. See if you can put it on something other than a uh, basic pipe. Okay, so we got the robot there, so now we should still be able to see the oak. And there it is. All right, so if we, I can't sort it because I don't actually have an item sync module over there. It's just a one-way trip as far as this setup. So we've got this in here. Let's do the demo of the crafting tables. And then just like before, we'll do five stacks instead of four. So they're going to trade. The wood is going to come over here. It's going to go into our two crafting tables planks into here and then planks over there to make the the uh, crafting tables and then whoops and then he'll come back over with more wood this guy is the guy that lives over here so he's gonna actually pick up the crafting tables there we go four stacks not five and then switch over with this guy and drop them off Okay, so I was talking about frame rate issues before. Also, uh, there are some people that are concerned with logistics pipes calling tick, causing tick problems, uh, ticks per second problems. So this is another way you can have less pipes, and uh, if it's causing ticks TPS problems for you, then maybe that would be one solution is to use these robots. The robots would obviously be using ticks but maybe less than the pipes I don't know I don't know the actual programming and all that but if we go inside here we see our five stacks okay so now the wool that's the basic setup if this is all you came for uh, that I guess that would be the end of the video for you here but we'll talk about some more stuff if you want to tag along all right so if you notice our coordinates we're about at four and Z we're about 1430 so if we go out here, this is actually 50 blocks away. And then for the sake of traveling, this is the same exact setup as down there, but it is 100 blocks away. Okay. Inside here is the orange wool. Inside there is magenta wool. And uh, I was just trying to test distance. How far away will this go? Well, you saw that the orange and the magenta wool were inside there. So it goes at least 100 blocks away. Um, I started noticing that... I wasn't connecting up with some with a distant system when it wasn't loaded. Uh, so I didn't actually test the like extreme distance. Maybe if you have like a whole line loaded, maybe your robot will travel that far. I don't know, but we'll go ahead and grab that just to see him travel. Okay. So I imagine this guy is coming. Well, this is very interesting. Uh, the the farthest robot isn't just connecting with the, the uh, requesting table robot they're actually taking turns here so what i'd like to do now that we saw this because i didn't test this before i was like to throw the yellow and the blue piece of wool in there and then what we're going to do is that once this magenta wool uh gets um gets moved all the way over we are actually going to break apart this middle one because maybe it's acting as a relay and maybe there is a distance that we can go but uh we're going to get to that point and then we'll cut right back okay they're about done with their operation inside here you can see that we did get the magenta wool 
and the other robot should be on its way back and it is all right so now if we look inside of our requ requesting system here we have the yellow and the blue just like I put in the far chest so what we're going to do just to see if there is a limit if you don't have to have a relay we're gonna destroy all of this all right take those off and then all that's gone so let's see if our robots are still communicating to each other come back over here and we don't have the yellow and the blue so there is a distance uh, you need to have relays I didn't work out the distance but maybe that's something you could do on your own this video is mainly to show you how you set these up in case you're wondering so key things to remember basic pipe docking station on each system robot on each system uh, some additional questions that you might want to test out on your own or maybe I will do in the future on my let's plays which uh, you should check out and that's where this actually stemmed from is because I was having a problem with these on the uh, FTOG server let's play that I'm doing right now uh, but one thing you should test is that if you have another player system close to you and they're using the logistics robots also you might want to test to see if they interact with each other or if the game can tell if you what system was placed by what player or which system was placed by which player however you want to say it but anyways so that's it. I hope that was helpful for you. This is a type of video or information that I wish I could have found sooner without uh, frustrating myself. And thank you again very much, Tommy K, for finding this out and sharing it with the rest of us. And you all have a good day. Bye.